coming on in any moment now. And here we go then. Three, four, five red lights here in the Red Bull ring here in Austria. And we are away for Division 2. It's a good start from Borger. He is absolutely flying on those softs. Owen has got a mega star in third place trying to go around the outside. The best of all, has been forced off the track as Owen. They're going to go side by side all the way down. Two turn three, two turn two. The little kink now. Carito's going side by side with JMC now as we head towards turn two. There's slight contact between the two. JMC breaks later. That's F1 AB QWERTY at the inside now and trying to get past uh, Owen Howell and he does. QWERTY with a mega, mega oh. star up into the top three. Marsh and fucking Kilesco come together. I was about to jinx it and say, Jesus Christ, what for the first few corners about an incident, and then uh, they just get tangled up. Oh, Marsh has just hit the wall as well for fucking good measure. Owen's had an awful start and his media compound tie is going to try and send it back down the inside of Ski Fee. Can he make it work? The Haas driver needs to keep these positions if he wants to close the gap to beat in the championship. He gets his way back up into fourth, but Scarborg on this first lap has had the dream opening lap on those soft compound tyres. It was the, the goal for him was to pull the gap in the opening laps. He's not just pulled a DRS gap, he has pulled nearly two seconds, Modi, on this opening lap. So that's the way to do it. I, I can really rate that as a strategy for the race. It may come back to hinder him, obviously, later with some worn-out hards, but it's Div 2. There's a high chance of safety cars. It could work to his benefit. Being able to do a two-stop there. He's just making his life easy now, isn't he? And talking about making your life easy, UK Beast Assassin has been anything but. He's dropped down to P12 there, off the start, and has now got to do, work, do all the work to uh, catch up to his teammate in the championship. After the championship battle for this race. Was rapid coot, I think, is thinking about going for a move now. Heading down into turn four, he's got the inside line on that guy. This is about for nine place. He's gone in a bit deep, but he looks like he's made the move work on the pressure and quicker medium compound tyres. Rapid coot up into ninth place, hoping to stay within the DRS of SLR Liam on this opening lap. Position game wise, it is again, you, you can't be surprised this season. It's TIR Hayes started 16. She has made her, her way up into 13th place on the hard compound tyre as well, maybe the slower tyre. But she is looking very quick in that Mercedes as per. And uh, she's not in third place in the championship for no reason. The Scarborough has now made it over two seconds on this lap. And it looks like JMC and Ski are going to go side by side through turn one. You've got to go side by side through there, boys. There's been slight contact. But JMC has Three got his got way right through. As well. Three is going to follow straight on through, isn't he? It's higher than I thought it would be, actually. I thought it would had it done and dusted before... Um, Turn four up, turn three, turn four up there, whichever one it is. Right there, Carito up to sixth place as uh, Rapid Coot is looking to gain another position now. It's on Danny. Uh, this is the battle for the final points playing position. Danny just got overtaken by that guy going into turn three. He's had a real lockup as Danny. That's going to give him an awful exit, but he has now blocked the apex to Rapid Coot heading towards turn six now. Can he make it work around the outside? It'll be a bold, it'll be a brave move. Vapakut's gone really deep. That's allowed Beast to slide at the inside and go back into P11. But Vapakut was again gone deep. And this is going to allow Hayes to get in this battle. What car off? That's legend, whose weekend goes from bad to worse. TIR Hayes is maybe looking to go around the outside. And turn nine, can she make it work? That's a mega move from, uh, from um, TIR Hayes. But I've just realised that Vapakut's gone into the pit lane and maybe got damaged. So I've maybe just overhyped that a little bit. <laughs> but nevertheless, <laughs> yeah, impressive move. Yeah, back to Quarto. He looks like he's getting ready to make a move for the uh, second spot here. Closing in on Matt. Not going to look down the inside into turn three. He's going to wait smartly for the uh, second spot of DRS and try down the hill. Which is a word that I never would have said for Quarto a season ago. Smart, patience. Great to see driver learning. Don't really have to get the play. Danny's just made the move on that guy again. That's for P9. Uh, using the DRS to his advantage, gaining an extra place and an extra point uh, as it stands at the moment. Very early stages in this race, still in the opening laps. Oh, but it's all going down in the mid pack at the moment. We've got a few races going on. We've got Scarborger, who was absolutely shot off. Owen has made the move on Querty, so I'm not sure if Querty's made an error or not. But he was pressuring at uh, something not too long ago, and now he's he the one being overtaken. Must have done, because that was quite a weird... It was into the final couple of corners. It was on that bit of a straight, so he must have had a wobble through that um, left to right there. Potentially, he's going to get a chance here straight away to go back at Owen. And I mean, quite, he's got 90% battery, so he's compared to Owen's 30, so he's 
sitting pretty in a place to when he wants to go for it to breeze on past. Indeed he is. We've got a battle a bit further down the, the field. I think it's a P10. We're 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 talking P10. About gaps. The gap to the uh, leaders dropped to below one and a half seconds now. So are these soft tyres dropping off already after five laps? I've got no idea myself. You might have a better idea than me on time. I have got a clue, I mate. I haven't done any of this track's <laughs> game, and the, probably the only time I'll touch it, it will be on Sunday, to be honest. I don't really want to do it. Beast has got the his way into me. the points now. Uh, he has just got past that guy going into turn four. Lovely move it was with the DRS assistance as well, but um, the chance to lead him back into the points now. It's been a tough weekend so far for our championship leader, UK Beast Assassin, and at the moment, he's going to be losing 14 points to... Uh, his teammate Owen Howe, so uh, that's definitely going to close it up going into the next round. But still, 30 laps to go in this race. And speaking of Owen, he's going to be thinking about going for a move surely on uh, SLR Southern. Maybe not on this straight, not quite close enough. Maybe on the next Beast one. Beast is going to get Danny though. I mean, he's already alongside there before they can get towards the top of the turn. Going around the outside, which is very optimistic and ambitious. But it's not made it work just yet. It's been pushed off a smidge. Oh, Corey, you've gone. Oh. Corey? Oh. I was getting worried for a second. I thought I was going to be on my own for, going on my own doing this. I thought, oh, no, sorry, folks. This is going to go downhill fast. <laughs> Good old F1, we love this game. I can tell you now, we haven't time jumped 30 laps forward. Scar is still in the lead, although Southerner is now within DRS, so those softs have definitely dropped off. <laughs> That's fine, take your time. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go then. Southerner on the climb up to turn three. He's having a look down the inside, it's very optimistic. Smart to pull out and second bout. He's alongside, here we go, down, and down the hill. Nice and easy. Southern has the lead of the Grand Prix. And Soft's tyres have now dropped off for Scarborger then, by the looks of it. Oh, he's just, Scar's just managed to get the freaking switcheroo and... Uh, oh, this is... Don't even want to jinx it. It's brilliant driving it, going side by side through the entire middle sector. Well done, well done to the Barrow, Scar V team for the lead. Well, I think we're all going to format a uh, rear taxi. Danny M is dropping. Oh. Come on, get you got him. So we currently have a DRS train from first down to eighth. You want to get in quick, because this is getting... Yeah. This tyres must have really gone then, Borgers. Uh-huh. It dropped. So this is all this is telling me is do not touch the softs. Oh, yeah. Matt's back in study. Oh, there's Argy Bargy. Are you back in? You're I'm not. No, apparently I need to check privileges or something. You are missing up. Fine. Come on, game. Oh, active JMC has somehow worked himself up in the second place. What? Owen's down to six. <laughs> Owen is just... Oh, no. Owen is... Carito. Get me oh. in. Carito's in a wall, clears off his wall. What? Owen must have got some damage too. Sure, Owen's lost his entire wing as well. What is going James on? James up into second place, Southerners down to third. I'm back in, I'm back in, I don't know how long for. Corey, stay out, fucking get out. The action's here where you're out, fuck off. I'm here, I'm here. Fuck off, it's going to get boring again. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Oh, I, did, I didn't really catch much of the uh, Carito and Owen incident, unfortunately. I was more watching uh, bits at the front line until I saw two cars just go right into the fucking wall. <laughs> but no. Get the popcorn at the radio. This is a hell of a fight. Oh, JMC. I don't know how he has it in the back of Scarborough. Then ended into turn three now. He's around the outside. Southern is getting involved in contact between JMC and Borg and Borg's now got awful legs he's going to lose position to Southerner and Southerner might gain both positions from here now and no JMC will retain the lead now after oh, retaking it Borg's just hit Scar. Oh, oh and he's took on no Quite he's oh. around him well 
it's all kicking off on lap nine of this race. <laughs> <laughs> this has got tasty. Oh, Querty. I think I might have jinxed Scarborg when I said he won on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four laps later, he's down in PA. He's going to have to pit now, isn't he? Get off those softs, get some hards on, and hope for the best. Yeah, I think he's going to have to pit now. Yeah, he does peel that Haas. Um, Haas? Mercedes into the pit lane. Definitely looking like a Haas now, but... Uh, I, I, think... I, say, I, know the I know the Haas are cropping the Red Bulls this <laughs> for the next F1 race, not the Mercedes. <laughs> Literally. Uh, and uh, the top two, they are going to be thanking their lucky stars at the moment because now they're 1.8 seconds clear of Vessel on Liam, who has just taken third place oh. off Ski Fee. He's worked his. He's. Opportunity's struck for that, hasn't he? And, I mean, Owen on the. Liam is now the on the hard car right there. He could be in a good position here to potentially win the race. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not, let's not, you know, let's not get well. I think you're the one who's drunk here, mate. That's not Liam winning a Grand Prix. Now, I um, mean, I, 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 I need him to win a Grand Prix because I'm a Red Bull driver myself. I need him to pick up some of the swag. Now, the, the, last... the team has got 180 points this season across all three divisions. I've got just 100 of them, so. He needs to pull his finger around and get to fucking work. Well, the last time I bet SR Liam would uh, win a race, that didn't go down well. Well, I'm not, gonna, oh, I'm not going down that road again. Uh, <laughs> I will pile the pressure on. Liam and if he spins an P11, that is a result as well. <laughs> Literally. I tell you, he is absolutely closing this gap, to be fair. Well, one man who's he closing is. the gap is out in front. Is uh, SR Southern on JMC, the battle for the race lead, as it stands. Those medium tyres are going to be dropping off. Matt's had an awful exit um, compared to JMC, so he's got a bit of breathing room. But Liam is standing the pressure from Ski Fee behind. And uh, again, another thing that doesn't surprise me is T.I.R. Haynes gaining 11 positions after starting 16, and she's now up to fifth. It's, it's the way to drive in, so keep the nose clean and just limp on past as the idiot's fresh. She's got a good bit of air there as well, actually. So, uh, knuckle on down to the last one and potentially catch Ski for your head. Yeah, we've got the pace, that is for sure. As, uh, Matt is now closing back up once again on JMC. It's about six tenths of a second as we start lap 12 of 36 in this race. QWERTY picks up a time penalty for his woes as well after that contact earlier on. Uh, dropping him a bit further down the order, but is Southern are going to be close enough heading down this straight now, going through turn two, the little kink in towards the hard braking zone of turn three. He's going to get DRS in the next straight as well, and that is going to put him in a in a perfect place mode. Maybe think about going for the move, and Skifi has gone for the move on to Liam for the final podium position. Yeah, I think those two are um, they're, they're affecting their own race. Here we go, Matt's gone for the move, nice and easily. JMC's is just. Allowed him to have it. And he's switched position again on the one side. And Liam's done a carbon copy of that move as well. Down the inside of Ski Fee into turn four. And a lovely move with the DRS. As the uh, first, second, third, and fourth all changed position. As Kislesko and, and that guy are going to go side by side now, heading into turn six. That guy's made the move on the inside and back up into eighth place now, holding off the Aston Martin driver behind. As uh, the top four battling again uh, with that to JMC Southern, uh, Liam and Skeefy having their own little battle as well. I think, as you said, they're going to swap around again on this lap. Yeah, I was about to say, I think those two were um, shooting themselves in the foot, really. Because on that last lap, the gap, they, they lost seven tenths on the front two. If they, if they worked together and just shaked and baked, that's probably, yeah, they would catch. But. This fighting is going to slowly allow... Again, Hayes has now taken a half a second out of them. Hayes is coming for these two, don't watch it. She's flying along. three wheel on the hard tyres, it could be the fight for third place. Got that right, she's flying along and she's got a lot of batches to stay as well compared to the drivers around her, especially Liam. As uh, Kostesko's making the move on that guy again, the battle for P8. let's go back down the inside of the Red Bull driver and up into eighth place once again he's having a good little race it's Kislesko getting seven positions and sticking on the back of our championship leader uh, UK Beast Assassin who's now up into seventh place himself 
Bertie, of course, had that contact earlier on, so that's why he has dropped down to sixth place now. And uh, the top five in their own little races at the moment. So what was that I was in conversation with? Uh... <laughs> I was just saying, the top five in their own little races at the moment, but uh, JMC... Absolutely. Closing up to Matt again. Yeah, again... I don't want to be fighting it. However, we have to get close to um, the time for it. Beast has made the move fighting. Beast is working his way in. Hayes are now under two seconds to back to third. Flying along is Terry R. Hayes at the moment. I think probably the best man, uh, the driver you probably want to be at the moment, is active JMC. Probably the best battery at the moment on the grid with 80%. Got the quicker tyres. Of course, he's going to be coming in shortly. He's in a very handy little place at the moment. Of course, like I said, has that ERS to defend and attack at the same time. So when it comes to the second half of the race, he's going to be in a mega place to potentially even win the race. Fingers crossed. But the only problem is going to be, um, because of how the field is spread, he's going to come out into traffic. I... Oh, God. You okay? <laughs> Sorry, I had a freaking sneeze. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I thought I'd mute the mic and not do that. But yeah, I, I, I can't see. I, I thought it's going to be probably a, a 20 to 22 second pit stop, isn't it? Yeah. So he's going to be coming out right on the back of a pack of cars there from 13th to um, 17th. Oh, the bang wheels of JMC Southern, and neither of them want to give up the lead now on lap 15 of 36 in this race. They're going to go side by side now. This is going to allow the cars behind to try and catch up. There's so nearly contact between the two. They're still side by side. Heading through turn seven. Who's going to get it at the moment? JMC ever so slightly ahead. And he is ahead fully now. And JMC's back into the lead of this Austrian Grand Prix. And this has been a mega battle between the top two and Southerner. Peels to the right-hand side. He's going to pit first. He's going to blink first. But only the crucial thing is, is he going to come out in traffic? Because that could really hinder his race and maybe even drop him behind Liam. I, I, I think he is. I can see him coming out into that <laughs> uh, into that gap with, um, yeah, as I said, he, sorry, <laughs> you knew it, you woman. <laughs> <laughs> the woman's trying to kill her fucking daddy long legs and ran into the bloody other room. <laughs> oh, fucking VSC. Wait, wait, VSC, what's going on? What? Oh, Legend's lost his front wing, that's why. Legends again. Uh -oh. That has actually worked perfectly for Southerner. He's come out just ahead of that that pack. Oh. It didn't work perfectly for him, it didn't work horribly, because if it stays out, if JMC comes in this lap, then it is, he's going to really hinder him. James, he's got. If it stays, you've got to come. He's got to. There's. It'll be a fool not to. Still out at the moment, but obviously they can see when it's going to end. <coughs> we can't. It's, it's ending now. I reckon it's flashing. Yeah, let's take these flashbacks to Monaco when I got my drive through. Um, James, he looks like he's coming in. He is coming in. Really, is the only choice he has. To come in, Liam stays out, Liam will take the lead of this race. Hayes is coming. That's a bold call. Very early on those hard since you've got the 20 laps on them. Again, that's only going to be four extra laps uh Oh, so they're going to drive oh. through. Oh, no. Oh, they're all batting down into turn one. They've just gone nearly three wide into turn one now. It's battle for P4, I believe oh, it is. Back is sideways. Oh, oh Eslar Southern, what have you done? That is the worst possible scenario you could have. He was in a perfect place uh, to maybe even win the race. And now he's you just thrown it all away. You can't even use your excuse of the um, license thing, Pop, because we have that turned off in here. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. If you can't even use that excuse that he went across the line and it popped up green for his fastest lap. <laughs> He is. Kate was ahead of him as well, wouldn't he? He's, he, t he got it perfect. Got the jump on JMC. And it's. Oh. That's what he was pushing for, wasn't he? He was pushing to make sure he got JMC on exit. And he's pushed just too hard. Not under the limit between pushing and staying within the delta. And that 
the limit has been pushed uh, pushed uh, over the line for uh, Eslar Southern. Now he's got the uh, the drive three penalty as the consequence, and that has absolutely hindered his race. He's going to need a full safety car to get back in it. But again, we've seen it before, and um, we're only halfway into this race now. As that guy's made his way back past Kislesko, battle for P3 on track as it stands. As uh, Beast, of course, our championship leader, is in this battle. A lot of drivers yet to pit. The uh, all the top seven. Uh, yet to pit in this race as the two Williams cars are swapping around Gone Egg Fryer and F1 AB QWERTY heading down to turn four Gone Egg Fryer up into sixth place now so JMC is 13 seconds behind uh, Steefy and he's chewing into that a few attempts every lap JMC is in an absolute wonderful position here he's of course about to come onto the back of this bat for sixth and seventh between the two Williams um, <coughs> you'd expect Quirt to be pitting any lap now, really. Yeah. Who's that pulling into the pit lane? Ooh, that is Southern Up. Him coming in. Uh, oh, a lot of drivers appear off into the pit lane there. That was very late for Quirt. As Southern Up will serve his drive through penalty. And Liam's in. It's just Liam is into the, uh, into the pit lane. He kind of needs to go for the undercut on Ski Fee. He lost the DRS uh, assistance to Ski Fee. Lost that one second. It was about 1.8 uh, to Ski Fee. Who is now uh, into the lead of the race? I need 10 seconds of that guy. Adrian out here. He needs to maintain his position ahead of um, Adrian. So I think he's going through. So Hayes has jumped Liam. It has jumped Liam. You, you're spot on there. That VSC as well has definitely helped Hayes to get ahead of Liam. And Hayes again. We shouldn't be surprised saying this. He's done it so many times this season. And I think what net P3, net P2. P2, net P2 behind JMC. So yet Sneaky's going to get behind them all. He's about to overtake a teammate, Scar Borger. Scar, you would hope would play the team game, which is pretty excited about him through. Because Hayes has a real chance to win the race win. No, it's not just the fact that the race wins, Scar, it's the fact that it's not JMC even fucking on Which is what none of us want to see. So move your fucking ass <laughs> and let her through. That guy's in as well. <laughs> Oh, here we go then. DRS for Hayes. She pulls to the right hand side of her teammate. Is oh, and she backs out of it last second. She doesn't want to do it there. She's gonna have a lot more room as Querty picks up another penalty. Pulls to the right hand side of Scar Borger. DRS Hayes is now through past her teammate and up into next P2 after starting 16th on the grid. She's kept her nose clean. She's kept it penalty free for now and kept it on the racetrack and he's closed it. Done a double overtake. Yes, he has. Into turn four. JMC slices his way through the traffic and slices his way up into P2. Oh, that, was that, was a nice, that was a nice double overtake. Yeah, good back to him. Yeah, pretty I mean, the way he's eating the Sneaky here is actually Sneaky's cooking here. Sneaky could come out here in a world of trouble, actually. Stepping with behind Lee, and he should be coming out into the back of the P3 for a match. Here we are, and the rest of the hard pitters are coming in finally. Yes, they are, that'll be near enough for everyone who's made at least one stop in this race now. It is up to JMC back into the lead on track now of this Austrian Grand Prix, and it's about five seconds back to TIR Hayes, um, third place driver in the championship, looking to maybe. Uh, Make it into a top two in the championship. She's ahead of one of her championship rivals, Owen Howe. They're on the exact same points going into this round. But if she's ahead, we'll uh, take that position. Championship leader, UK beat Assassin, down in 15th at the moment. So if Hayes can win this race, she'd only be a point away from a championship lead. Yes. This course has to be like the level. And that would be, that would be lovely, lovely to see, actually. Coming up from doing three last year. Let's not forget that. It wasn't like Hayes was battling out here last season. She was stepping on that form as uh, taking to like a duck to water. Doing bloody well. Definitely the has. gap between her and James, he hasn't really changed his life. So it doesn't seem to be much of a deep entire advantage over his heart at the moment. Around the same time at the moment, as you said. So uh, maybe she's just taking some time to get those medium bedded in. 
isn't, isn't going to over push it. She very could easily pull a second to her teammate Scar Borger, but I think she's also playing the team game as well, trying to keep her teammate within DRS range. But again, she, the, the Scar Borger with no battery behind. Hayes has got 65% to burn as that Southerner has made his way past Rapid Coot into PA. He's on a recovery drive now after that drive through penalty he got earlier in the race. If Hayes, He's if not that could... far off the podium spots, is he? Yeah, that's though. true. That is true. He is not far off, so he could recover well. It's, it's still possible, especially when you think that Carito, Owen, and Scar are more than likely going to pit again. Yeah. Carito, for certain, he's not taking those mediums to the end from there. The other two on the hards, another 14 laps. Let me look, what, 26, 27 laps, respectively? I think that's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? It very much would be, yeah. You, you got that right. Liam is closing up on Owen Howe here now. Liam uh, pitted a few laps ago. He said he got over, uh, undercut sorry, uh, by Owen. Four lap old mediums compared to 14 lap old hards. I think really there's only one winner, even with both cars having DRS. Look at the extra grip Liam's got through turn one. He's going to use the slips and going to use the DRS, going to use that electrical energy he's got in that Red Bull. Pulls to the left hand side, easily get both of them, make a double overtake here. Yes, he is. Down the inside goes SR Liam. Can he make the move work? And you can see him playing chicken with the DRS. He isn't going to get it, but he is going to get that better exit with the fresher and quicker tyres. SR Liam, a lovely double overtake and back into the top three now. And if he can maybe get himself uh, into DRS range of Hayes, could see himself in the battle for the lead of the race later on, as Owen now has also made the move on Scarborger on his ageing hard tyres as well. Skeefy's now sat right behind them, ready to strike. Liam has shown him the way through. Let's see if he can uh, replicate next time round. Yeah, that was... Well, he's had a problem. Good driving there by Liam. Very smart driver from Liam as well. Querty's made his way back through on Vapid Coupe. Not sure if they were the two that had contact or not, but their races have really gone downhill as, uh, as Adrian's race has gone just gone, uh, just gone downhill as well on his 22-lap old medium. Sorry, what? What's all that I'm about? Sure. I don't think so. I think he's just had a spin because he's got absolutely no grip left on those tyres, but he's... Uh, he's he's going the ultimate. Is he going medium size? He's going again. He's going for 23 laps on them. Could we have like a medium soft surely we know adrian loves the wacky and out there strategies and i think this is uh one of his craziest calls yet yeah, very <laughs> too wacky for this one you could say as uh owen is is being overtaken should i say by ski fee of course using his fresh medium ties we saw ski fee and liam battling um earlier on in this race of course liam did the undercut performed the undercut on ski fee so he's got two like older tires compared to the alpha tower behind but I think the battle we saw between Skiffy and Liam earlier, we're going to have a round two, Moly, maybe in a lap's time. It depends how long it... Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they both sat there nicely. A couple of tenths. I mean, if, if Skiffy can keep it to a couple of tenths, it won't be much of a battle. It'll be, uh, it just breeze on past up there in through the DRS zones. And if they can play the cards right, just pull each other along, they could get in the DRS range of Hayes. And it could be a, a brilliant battle for P2. Because at the moment, nothing's going to stop Active JMC at the moment. And nothing's going to stop Ski Feet from sliding past the Red Bull car, the bigger brother of the Alpha Tauri, and slides his way up into the final podium position that is P3. You said it there, they need to not fight and work together. That's what they weren't able to do earlier. They were costing themselves tenths upon tenths every lap. They're fighting too hard. You know, I think they definitely will air catch over them. For those Asian players, um, Hayes is slowly pulling the GMC, so if these two can get onto the coattail of Hayes, so every possibility one of these two could be in the race. Indeed, Hayes is starting to get a foot down though, you can see the gap uh, to the lead starting to come down, 4.3 seconds it is now, 1.1 and back to Ski Fee, so she's just about holding him out. Liam has got that one second gap to Owen on his old hard compound tyres now, but it is crucial for Liam to stay within the DRS range of Skeefy. Is Skeefy going to get DRS of Hayes? I think he was just out by a few thousands of a second. Yes, he was. So that will allow Liam to stay in this battle crucially now as we head down, down towards turn three. Skeefy, you can see on the uh, interval on the left-hand side, is within DRS range of TIR Hayes. So we are going to have one titanic battle for P2 and maybe even P1 if they can again just play their cards right and just tow each other along till the end and maybe catch JMC. 
They've taken three attempts out of Bob. Hayes has taken four attempts out of JMC that lap. Um, the mediums are going to drop away soon. I think it's a little too a, a little too late to be honest. In all honesty, but it's getting what lap 12, lap 13. Surely that's when it comes to hard tyres, and JMC will be able to extend that lead. Checking everyone's track limits warners at the moment. JMC, I think, is going to have to kind of just back off a little bit because he's got two warnings uh, does our race leader so he's playing it really cautious you can see that by the gap coming down as well for the lead it's now under four seconds Liam has now lost DRS to Skifi who is all over the back of Hayes now as Quasi picks up another penalty for track limits and I think we're going to have a change for, the back, uh, for P2 Molo I think we are indeed here we go he's pulled to the left hand side and they're not even up the hill yet and he's just breezed on past although Hayes will now be able to have the opportunity to attack down the hill into the bottom corner here. She had a good, really good launch out of the corner there. Like, really close enough. And Hayes is in the sort of driver just to lunge on in there and hope for the best. We'll be methodical here now, wait for the next lap, and then push it again. Liam's really dropped off. Has he got really damage? Nice. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just how powerful the DRS is around it. Again, I know a lot of people have opinions on DRS and how it's kind of executed because of how overpowered we especially well we've, i think it's been proven how overpowered it is this race people are completing the move before they've even reached the braking zone but liam's lost nearly a second since the start of this and lap so and his tires ain't that much older and hayes is on two laps second loss well, that's what the second that's what p2 and p3 have taken out of first place this lap they are absolutely flying along jmc i know i said about those warnings but he's really taking conservative out there and those 11 lap old hard I don't think that's just the only problem he has. I don't know if he's just taking an easy or what, but Ski Fee on his seven lap old meetings, which will start to die off maybe in about four or five laps time, is those four or five laps. So going to be enough in Legends oh. crash. And it's a full safety car. So that neutralizes <laughs> everything in this race now. And I would not be surprised if we see the majority, if not all of the pack, coming for fresh softs. And we will have about a five, maybe six lap sprint to the end of this race. Yeah. I, I, a, if anybody sticks out, that it, yeah, you've got a pit. It's a no-brainer, and a track position I know can be key at circuits, but a track like this where there's so much open space, uh, slipstream is overpowered, DRS is overpowered. It's you have to box here. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah you said you'd be sitting back on those two long DRS straights. Unlike oh. Monaco, where we saw I can't, who was it that stayed out? I can't remember who it was. Um, Scar could be in trouble here. I know he's got a, he's got a few seconds. There's no there's no teammates near one another. Are there that could hamper one for each other? Everyone is pissing up. teammates. Could, nobody really actually. They are far spread out for them. Division three in Monaco, I think it was. We saw Dodgy stay out. He managed to win the race on his old tyres. I somehow, I stayed out and held on with everyone behind me on fresh tyres. The track position there is key, but. Here, where there's so much open space and how easy it is to make an overtake, it's a no-brainer to come in. As Anti GMC has gone into medium, so unless he's got no soft left, it all doesn't want to go into medium. Must have heard then. Carito's dead on the stage. Carito's going to gain quite a lot here. Actually. He's got nothing to lose, just Carito. So he's staying out. He will go well up into the top ten potentially. I think maybe if he can get past Quirky on exit, he's seen pushing. So he's going to come out in P8 is for research. his tyres are fairly fresh anyway but JMC hasn't really done much wrong this race but he's probably going to be the most pressurised man uh, in SLR oh. right now he has got the whole pack behind him bar maybe one or two drivers on fresh soft, fresh soft compound tyres we saw how overpowered they were at the start for Scarboard they're putting two seconds near enough on the opening lap and um compared to medium and hard runners but he has now caught everyone behind him near enough on soft tyres it's going to be a hell of a restart for JMC absolutely we're going to learn what sort of driver Skeef he is as well here I think this is his third or his fourth race he's been doing well I think he's been finishing eighth or ninth most races but what I mean by that is is he going to overly push for the overtake too early because so I see Hayes, Liam, Owen, Scar all being quite conservative and selecting the right moments to make the overtake they're not going to try to force it so let's, let's see if Skeefy will fall under that trend because if he does we could be in for a good battle if he doesn't there could be a absolute clusterfuck um, <laughs> and a multi-car pile up on, on the horizon 
to lap 30. Talking of, of cars in contact, we have got Scar and Carito, si uh, Scar and Querty side by side again. Oh, yes, I can see him. Querty spinning Scar what, 10, 15 laps ago, wherever it was. Rivalry is renewed. Oh, this is going to get messy. This is going to get really messy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, yeah, no, no comments on that one there. <laughs> so fun to dreams by that one. Quartes. James E's not winning this. He's going to pick up at least one penalty. Because he's going to have to defend that hard now. He's going to exceed track limits. Probably two or three laps in and that's him done. I'm surprised he didn't use more of his battery to try and make it there. So it's down to just over a tenth. You can definitely get a battery use has made a move into that corner. not making it here it's gonna, it's gonna be a holdout now to the next lap use the DRS and then hope he's got enough in the tank to pull away as you said Liam has dropped off it's very quickly becoming a uh, two races here Owen oh, wanna look at Liam he is he's around him Liam's sticking the nose in Some of the penalty as well. Yeah, that's just all but confirmed. This is the three, unless if there's um, any contact between the three of them. Oh no, Carito's in there as well. This is three wide. GMC has survived another lap. Quite some look. He's, he's, yeah, he's made his way through words. I was, I was expecting him to breeze on past. 
Still have a reason I pass. I think uh, Qwerty is going to be getting Scar very shortly. It's all over the back of that um, Mercedes. Looking left, looking right. Yeah. I mean, Qu okay, Qwerty's got nothing to lose. He's got, what is it, nine seconds worth of pens or something stupid? Yeah, nine seconds. So, yeah, he's... He, he might as well just pull over an hour, to be honest, and let the boys, uh, let them all go through. It looks like he's got a lower wing setup. He's doing really well with it. I mean, that lap there is more of a case he got out of the traction zone better. Was able to open up a couple of attempts in ski feed before DRS kicked in. But you know for a fact that Owen and Liam are just sat there licking their lips if anything does go down between these three. He went in too hot there. Here we go. Has... I think he's gone one lap too early. You hold on there for the final lap because JMC is going to have a chance to go back and JMC will try to lunge it down the inside. There is no doubt on that. If he has half an inch, he's going for it. She hasn't got the better exit, but she's close enough for the DRS and the battery to potentially make an effort. James, he's got the final two corners to make and we know what track limits are like. Let's not speak just yet. Oh, and he's done it. No, second place, yeah. I'm surprised how the medium's held on, to be honest. Maybe the softs have literally no life at all. Obviously, we saw Scar struggling after six or so laps, and these guys held them there as well. One man who definitely held his nerve was Active JMC, held off all the pressure from behind, got past Skifi when it mattered and takes the Division 2 victory here in Austria. We'll get the top three in the party so we can get their thoughts and reaction after this race. But Moly, what a brilliant race that was and um, who can get it in the chat as well. Who is your driver of the day going to go to after that one? It's quite a difficult one. There's two drivers that obviously stand out. One being uh, well, the drivers that finished first and second there. 
they both come through from quite deep in the field. Oh, I don't know. Difficult one to make. The JMC controlled it so well and Hayes so surgical for overtakes. Um, it was a Hayes. We brought it from 16th after a, a weak qualifying again. Nothing short of a miracle. It was, and uh, kept her nose clean and gets the runner up spot in the end. Hoping to try and make it one better for next week. I'll invite Ski Fee, but I don't know if he's going to join or not. I will not. message him quick. Oh, is he not? Oh. Fair oh. enough. Fair enough. Ah, oh, well. Congrats for Ski Fee anyway. Hopefully he's watching along. And congrats to the rest of the top three. We'll get away with the interviews in a minute. But there is the final classification. It is at to JMC, who takes...